Hello everyone, welcome back to Airlines Quest. Today we'll be taking a closer look at a recent incident involving a Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft operated by Southwest Airlines. It is a rare but potentially serious problem known as a Dutch roll. On May 25th, Southwest Airlines Flight 746 experienced an uncontrolled side-to-side -side yawing motion, called a Dutch roll, while cruising at an altitude of 32,000 feet, less than an hour after taking off from Phoenix. The pilots faced a challenging situation but were able to regain control, and the plane landed safely in Oakland. So, what exactly is a Dutch roll? A Dutch roll is a rare and potentially dangerous oscillation that can occur in aircraft, characterized by an alternating yawing and rolling motion. As Shem Malmquist, a commercial pilot and instructor at Florida Tech explains, a Dutch roll is definitely not something that we like to see. It's pretty rare on modern airplanes because the aircraft and their systems are designed to prevent a Dutch roll from occurring. However, despite the rarity of such incidents, pilot training plays a crucial role in ensuring a safe outcome. Malmquist emphasizes, it's important for pilots to know how to respond when it happens. Obviously, in this case, they were. That training is really, really critical. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, a post-flight inspection revealed damage to a backup power control unit, PCU, that controls the rudder movements on the plane's tail. The aircraft involved in the incident was a Boeing 737 MAX 8 jet, less than two years old. The FAA is currently working closely with Boeing and the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, to investigate the cause of the loss of control during the Southwest flight. No other airlines have reported similar incidents involving the 737 MAX 8 aircraft. This incident comes as Boeing continues its efforts to rebuild trust in the aviation industry and among the flying public, following the tragic crashes of two 737 MAX 8 jets in 2018 and 2019, which claimed 346 lives. Earlier versions of the 737 were also involved in several accidents and crashes during the 1990s, ultimately blamed on problems with the tail rudder. As the investigation into the Dutch roll incident continues, the aviation community awaits further findings and potential corrective actions. The FAA has assured that it will take appropriate action based on the findings. Stay tuned for updates on this developing story. And remember, safety remains the top priority in the ever-evolving world of aviation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.